Ya regresó. Ya, ya regresó el teacher. Bash. Ya nos íbamos, Adiós. teacher. Ya nos íbamos, teacher. Ya nos íbamos. Ahora usted no quita el micrófono. Come on, guys. I do whatever. Oh, come on, teacher. In order to get the connection. Murphy Low. I'm so sorry. Today's connection is being bad. La conexión este día sí me ha dado problemas. It's terrible. But I think I guess it's because it's the wind. It's windy, teacher. Yeah, it is. It could be, could be that. Now, I'm sorry, guys, I just need to report. Okay, I'm reporting. Okay, thank you, guys. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We were doing an exercise. Do you remember that you were like spelling to each other? Now you are going to spell to me. Teacher. Okay. Yes. No va a continuar pasando lista. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Gee. I was in Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia, right? No, era yo, creo. Who's, who's me? Roxana. Roxana, let me Se see quedó that. con Mauricio. Se quedó con Mauricio. Yes, Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar, he's present. Roxana Claribel Trejos. Present. 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 Sandra Yanira Moreno. She was busy. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Okay, let me check just something. Okay, perfect. And Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. También present. Present. Thank you. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Eh, Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present. Walter Josué Ruiz Ayala. Present. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Perfect. Now let's continue, guys. Okay, now you are going to do a spelling, but you are going to spell for me. How are we gonna do this? Let me see. I need to close this. Man, I got so many Zoom screens right now. Okay. Let me do it like this. And you are going to dictate to me, guys. Okay, do you remember that I asked you to do the... I asked you to dictate, to spell for your classmates some of the occupations from your company, right? Okay, now let's see, I need, uh, let's see who is it going to start. Amparo, please spell one occupation for me. Yes. Yes. Okay. S. U. Yes. E. P. E. Okay. R. R. B. I. S. O. O. R. Perfect. Thank you very much. Hugo, your turn. Hugo. Um, D. Yes. R. 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 Okay. I. B. 
Say again, please. Repítamela. The. 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 This one. The. Oh. The. 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 Okay. E. E. R. R. Perfect. Excellent. 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 Let's see. Next one. Who's going to be next one? Karen, you're very quiet. Hello. Um. A. S. Okay. S. Perfect. I. Yes. S. S. C. Yes. A. A. M. T. T. Perfect. Now let's see who else, who else, who else. Thank you very much. Uh, Roxana, please, Roxana, help me. <laughs> Okay. C. Again, please. C. C. O. L. 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 Oops. L. 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 E. C. C O R Perfect collector excellent yes if you see it's very simple and I know that it takes a uh, practice mostly practice okay we know that it's not that complex but it just takes practice and you can start by using like doing exercises of spelling spelling the names of people from your family, the names of uh, occupations in your company, or perhaps machines like computer, stuff like that. That way, that's going to help you to get better at spelling. La mejor manera que tienen para aprenderlo es practicando. With words that are known to you, con palabras que son conocidas para ustedes, and that are not too difficult, y que no sean demasiado difíciles, okay? That's the idea for you to practice and practice and practice. And that's going to give you like fluency. Y eso le hará más fluido, right? Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who do I, oh, se me fue alguien. ¿Quién se me fue? Uh, let's see. Vane dice que Vane. se le descargó la laptop. Ahorita ya me conecté nuevamente. Oh, there's Vanessa. <laughs> Well, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue, because we are going to see something that is very important. Ahora vamos a analizar algo que es importante. Uh, in your manual, if you got your manual, please. I need you to check page number 16. Okay. I need you to check page number 16. What exercise, teacher? From page number 16, exercise four. How to use possessive adjectives. 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 Yes, how to use possessive adjectives. Okay, and I'm going to explain this. If you cannot get it, if you don't have the access, I will project it here. If you don't see it clear because that happens, I will send the picture to the, to the group, okay? So don't worry, we have many, many ways to do it. Tenemos muchas maneras de hacerlo. Okay, there we go. Now look, possessive adjectives. Of course, they express a possession, okay? 
And we have possessive adjectives, I equals my, you, your, he, his, she, her, okay? It, its, we, our, they, their. It, now, our, your. Our. I repeat again, my, your, his, her, it's, our, their. One more time. My, your, his, her, it's, our, their. Okay, now. Uh, Let's see, something that doesn't appear here, but I need to be a, a little bit clear. Because when we talk about possessive adjectives, of course, we use, uh, we are talking about possession, right? But it's very important that we remember that as there are possessive adjectives, there are also possessive pronouns. Now, the possessive adjectives are special because they are very useful first. Primero, porque son muy útiles, okay? I mean, we use them to express many different ideas. But also, when we talk about possessive adjectives, eh, it's very important to know that they, they are always before, siempre se ubican antes, before a noun, antes de un nombre because they express the possession, porque expresan la posesión del nombre, okay? Like, imagine that, uh, let's see, imagine that Ivania, Ivania has, do you have pets, Ivania? Do you have a pet? Yes. Okay, what do you have, a dog, a cat? Dog. A dog, okay. She has a dog. And Ivania goes on a trip. She goes to Mexico, okay? And she tells me, hey, Douglas, can you look after my dog? Listen. She asked me, can you look after my dog? Can you look after my dog? ¿Qué sería? ¿Puedes cuidar mi perro? Okay. So I tell her, yes. I can look after your dog. That's my answer. So the possessive adjective goes here. My dog, your dog. So right now we are talking about hair. En ese momento estamos hablando acerca de hair dog. Right? So those are the possessive adjectives. They go before a noun. Van antes de un nombre y expresan de que eso es, le pertenece a alguien más. Okay? So I can say that this is my cell phone right this is my cell phone and i tell uh, i tell karen hey karen i like your glasses i like your glasses you see your okay and you know what i imagine that i'm talking to amparo hello amparo let's talk about people in the class vamos a hablar de la gente de la clase we are going to gossip. Vamos a gossip. Uh, gossip. I don't remember how to say gossip in Spanish. We are going to gossip. Uh, we are going to chismear, right? Okay, look, Amparo. <laughs> Do you know Amparo? Know. Do you know Mauricio from the class? Mauricio goes like, what? Amparo, have you seen Mauricio? 
¿Ya ha visto a Mauricio? ¿Have you seen Mauricio? Uh, ¿Has visto a class, Mauricio? Yes. Ok. Tell me. Yes. Do you like, listen, do you like his background? ¿Le gusta el fondo que él tiene? Yes. Oh. Star Wars o... <laughs> no, the background, the background. El fondo que uh, tiene por Zoom. Ayer tenía... Uh, ayer Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> that means that she pays attention. She remembers. You had a different one yesterday. Tenía uno diferente ayer. Wow. Yeah. I didn't notice. <laughs> Sorry, Mauricio. Thank you, Amparo. You see, I asked her about okay. his. His. And her answer, her answer, su respuesta, was about yesterday's background. So if you notice, I am using the possessive. Remember, possessive goes, they go before a noun. Okay. Okay. What else can we say about this? Uh, let me see. Like I can say, you know, my these headphones. These are my headphones, right? But sometimes they give me a headache. A veces me dan dolor de cabeza. My headphones sometimes give me a headache. Oh, listen to this sentence. My headphones sometimes give me a headache. If I say this sentence, let's show it. I will show it to you better in the in the board. Se la voy a poner en la pizarra. So we can see. Okay, let's see. I don't want this. Okay. Now. Okay. My headphones. Give me a headache. Okay. In this case, if you notice, the possessive comes here, but it's expressing the possession of the noun. Está expresando de que este nombre pertenece to whom? My. Me. Okay. Now, I was talking about uh, Mauricio. And do you remember that I said that his background, his background is nice. His background is nice. And do you remember our classmates? She remembers his background from yesterday. So look at here. We have his background is nice. She remembers his background. If you notice, in this case, the possessive can be at the beginning, can be in the middle. Okay, but the possessive is not going to go to the end. Pero no va a ir al final. Okay? No the possessive adjective. No el adjetivo posesivo. Let's not make it complex. The ones that we have seen in the manual, los que hemos visto en el manual. My, your, his, her, it's our, their. They don't go as possessive adjectives at the end. Why? No van al final, ¿por qué? Oh, because if you remember, I just told you, si se recuerdan, they go before a noun. Van antes de un nombre. Okay? Like, let's see, you know, uh, I'm talking right now about Susan, and I say, oh, her blouse is very fresh. Her blouse is very fresh. Right? Her blouse. Su blusa. Always the possessive adjectives before a noun. But let's check the exercises from the manual so that way we are going to practice better. 
vamos a revisarlos, así que practicamos mejor. Oh, but before we go, sorry, I was just checking the, in the lesson plan that I still have out one exercise. Perdón que estaba viendo en mi, en mi planeación, en mi lección de clase, de que todavía tenemos un ejercicio. Ok, let's see. Eh, Karen, you live with your mother, right? Tell me, Karen, what is her name? Your name is... Ah, 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 ah. My name is Douglas. <laughs> she name. Her um, name. Her name. Her, her name, name is Zenaida. Zenaida. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Mauricio, tell me, what is your wife's name? Karen. Oh. Your, her name? Her name is Karen. Yeah, no, my name, no, I am Douglas. I am Douglas, no. okay? Her, her name, name, her name. Yeah, because her you were saying your. Perfect, excellent. No, her. Vladimir, you are married also. Tell me, what is your wife's name, mister? Her name is Nubia. Nubia? Yeah. Oh, beautiful name. Thank you. Let's okay. see, let's see, let's see. Indiana, Indiana, you have kids? Do you have kids? Indiana, you here? I think we're having problems with the connection. With Indiana's connection. Let's see, don't worry, don't worry. Walter, Walter. Tell me, Walter Alexander. Hello, Walter. Can you activate your microphone? Hello, teacher. Tell Sorry. me, Walter, are you married? Repeat, please. Are you married? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes, I'm married. Okay. Tell me, mister, uh, what is your wife's name? Uh, her name is Yomara. Okay, perfect. Do you have kids? Yes, two, two a, children. A boy or a girl? A, a boy. Two boys. Two boys. Okay, tell me, what are, listen, their names? Mm, your name? Uh, her, her. Their, their. Their. Their names. Their name. Are, is, are, because it's plural. They are names. Okay, yeah. I will text it to you. Their names uh, are, look, look at the chat. Their names are. Their name are Wesley, Wesley? and Matthew. Okay, perfect. Matthew. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see, Hugo. Mr. Hugo Arevalo. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hugo. Tell me, who do you live with? Con quien vive? Um, mother and father. Okay, tell me, what are their names? Uh, their names? Their names. Their names are. They know, their names are Ana Maidel and Hugo Arevalo. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivania. Ivania, do you have kids? Excuse me? Do you have kids? Yes. Okay, how many? Five? One. Six? Ah, no. just one. <laughs> wow. a, a boy or a girl? Girl. Okay. Could you tell me her name? What's her name? Her name is Fernanda. Her name is Fernanda. Okay, perfect. Edwin, do you have kids? Yes. Okay, boys or two, girls? Two girls. Two girls. Okay, what are their names? 
Their names are uh, Nicole and Alice. Nicole and Alice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, teacher. Do you have... Uh, are you married, Roxana? Yes. Okay. I'm tell, married. Tell me, what's your husband's name? His name is Javier. Okay. Do you have kids, Roxana? Yes. Oh, really? What are their names? Yes. Two girls. Oh, really? What are their yes. names? They na their names are Jamila and Jamila. Gabriela. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's missing? Susana. Hello, Susana. Hello. Okay, Susana, tell me, who do you live with? My family is big. My oh. husband, okay. four kids, and my, my mom. Gosh, four kids? Yes. Excellent. Good. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> tell me, tell me your kids' name. Do you have boys or girls? Okay. Um, two boys, two girls. Oh, really? That's cool. Okay, yes. tell yes. me, what are your, name your, is... your boys' oh. names? Boys' name. Um, their names Alejandro and Xavier. Their names are. Their names are Alejandro and Xavier. And okay. Xavier. Okay. What about your girls? Their names are Ariana and Grecia. Ariana and Grecia. Interesting. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, let's see. Amparo. Tell me, Amparo, you got four kids, uh, Susana? Or more? Five. How many kids do you have? One. One. A boy or a girl? Boy. What's his name? Uh, his name is Mateo. Oh, Mateo. That's nice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, let's okay. see. Let's see who's being very quiet. Oh, let's see. ¿Quién ha estado muy callado hoy? Mm -hmm. Walter, Walter Ruiz. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Walter, who do you live with? Con quien es libre? Mm, with my mom and my father. Okay. Tell me, what's your mom's name? Uh, her, her name is Dina. Oh, really? That's cool, like mine. Oh. Okay. Yeah, my, really? mom, my mom's name is Dina. Excellent. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. What about your father? What's your father's name? Uh, his name is Adelso. Adelso. Oh, interesting. That's a not common name. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Walter. Okay, so if you notice, at the beginning we started like you're like thinking. Si se fijaron, al principio los primeros que comenzaron a dármelo a little mistakes. At the end, after practicing and listening to the practice, it became easier, right? Se volvió más fácil. Like it's going to be right now for Evelyn. Oh, you thought that I have forgotten Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Activate your microphone, please. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, uh, Evelyn, tell me, are you married? Yeah. You're married? Okay, what's your husband's name? I'm sorry? Um, his name? Yes. His name is Ernesto. Oh, thank you very much. You see, it's very easy. Yes, Vladimir, you were asking me something? No, sorry, teacher, no. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Evelyn. So, uh, listen to what, 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 what. Ah, yeah, it's, the signal is giving us problems. Tenemos problemas de señal. And I think it's not just me, creo que no soy solo yo. Okay, let's see. So, let's remember. If we use the possessive adjectives, remember, they always go before a noun. Recordemos que siempre van antes de un nombre. ¿Ok? 
And it's very important. I am emphasizing on this. Le estoy enfatizando esto because of this. I need you to check something. Quiero que vean algo. Okay, now. Let's see. Do you know, guys? Uh, do you know Karen? Karen is a student that I have. But you know what? I do not like her. I don't like her. Here. Look at this sentence. I do not like her. Did you see the sentence? Ah, I'm kidding, Karen. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Karen was like, what did you say? Okay. Did you see that? Es la misma palabra, ¿verdad? Her. But, no puedo decir, no me gusta su, porque le puse un punto. The sentence end of, right? In that case, is not an adjective. En ese caso no funciona como un adjetivo. Ok. It is a possessive pronoun. That's something different. Es algo diferente. I am just telling you so you can remember. If they go at the end and they go alone, si van al final y van solitos, no son lo mismo. And what is the meaning? Don't worry. Ok. ¿Y cuál es el significado? No se preocupe. It will come to you in the classes. Pronto lo vamos a averiguar. Pronto lo vamos a descubrir. But right now, remember, we are going to go step by step. I'm just letting you know so you can remember. Oh, if it's an adjective, goes before a noun. Como adjetivo va antes del nombre. Okay? So, let's continue with the exercises. Remember that we have to make up a few minutes. Yo sé que algunos ya están cansaditos. Vamos a hacer... Uh, recupera unos minutitos because I owe you time yo les debo tiempo a ustedes I'm sorry let's continue ok let's see where is that where is that it's right here ok so look our teacher's name is well your teacher's name is Douglas ok Pedro's address Melissa and Dora's last name this is something that I needed to explain. These are possessive nouns. Our teacher's name, Pedro's address, Melissa and Dora's last name. Okay. This is something different and actually it's something very common in English. Esto es muy común en inglés. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, let's see. We see it here in El Salvador a lot. Hmm. Uh, ladies, tell me the name of one beauty parlor. Díganme el nombre de una sala de belleza. Vidal. 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 Okay, perfect. She told me Vidal. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for the other answer. Now, let's analyze that. Okay. In English, those uh, possessive nouns, they are also called, they are formed by something that we call the Saxon. Okay, let me erase. There's something that we call the Saxon genitive. Okay, that's the grammar noun. Es el nombre gramatical. What is that? It's something very, very simple. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? I'm sorry. But I'm, oh, right here. Okay, what is the Saxon genitive? You look, Vidal's salon. Okay, the Saxon genitive is formed by the apostrophe S, and it means that the word after it belongs. En este caso, con el apostrofe S, estamos dando a entender que la palabra que viene a continuación le pertenece. Okay, that's the Saxon genitive. Y en este caso hemos vuelto el nombre como un nombre posesivo. ¿Por qué? Ah, porque al nombre, el nombre este es poseedor de lo que viene a continuación. Okay. 
Douglas computer is black. An example. Douglas computer is black. En este caso, como mi nombre termina en S, yo coloco el apóstrofe after the S. ¿Ok? Coloco el apóstrofe después de la S. Pero aún así sigue diciendo que la computadora aquí, oh, Douglas computer. ¿Ok? Eh, let's see. Eh, Vladimir, Vladimir's wife is Nubia, right? Ok, I'm talking about a wife. Estoy hablando de una esposa. Whose wife? Vladimir's. Estoy expresando el posesivo. Estoy expresando que esta palabra, lo que esta palabra significa, le pertenece a Vladimir. ¿Ok? How so? Oh, lo que estoy diciendo es esto. The wife of Vladimir is Nubia. But this is shorter, pero esta es una manera más corta. It's abbreviated, you see? The wife of Vladimir is Nubia. These two sentences mean exactly the same. His wife is Nubia. In the three sentences here, I am expressing the same idea. Vladimir's wife is Nubia. The wife of Vladimir is Nubia. His wife is Nubia. In this case, it's because we know that we are talking about Vladimir. En este caso es porque ya sabemos que estamos hablando de él. ¿Ok? So we say his wife. But we can say Vladimir's wife is Nubia. Now, before I continue, questions about this? Preguntas con esto? It's simple, right? Yo sí, teacher, tengo una duda. Tell me. Um, Cuando se explicaba de, en el caso cuando termina la, el nombre con S, el, la, la, la apóstrofe, la comita, yes. va después. Yes, exactly. ¿Siempre va después o, o, o solo cuando los casos la, el, el nombre termina con esa vocal? Perdón, con esa consonante. Solo cuando termina en S. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Va después de la S normal, pero si se fijaron, ya no agregué otra S. Uh -huh. Ok. Like Douglas. I didn't say Douglases. I say Douglas. Okay? Not mm -hmm. Douglases. Not double S. And Just the normal S and the apostrophe. Yes, Vladimir? No, no, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Okay, no problem. No problem. Like I can say, I can tell, okay, um, Ivania's, Ivania's, uh, is that your PG's Ivania or just a teacher? Oh. Is that your PG or just a teacher? Es de, eh, de, ¿Es una camiseta o de pijama? No, camiseta. Ok. Ivanias, 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 teacher is yellow. Ivanias, teacher is yellow. Ok. Eh, Vladimir's headphones are cool. They got a mic here. Vladimir's headphones are cool. They got a mic here. That's... Yeah. Karen's pillow looks nice. Karen's pillow. Do you know what is a pillow, guys? Pillow. What Karen's got right there. Almohada. Yeah. Karen is always with her pillow. Okay. And I can say that, uh, let's see. Hugo's hair is long. Hugo's hair is long. El cabello de Hugo. Well, longer than mine. Okay. Eh, Alexander's window is beautiful. It's made of wood. Es de madera. Alexander's window. The window of Alexander, right? Mabel's 
expression is very serious. See? Oh, now she's mine. But Mabel's expression is very serious. Susana's, Susana's family is very big. Just let me report something, please, guys. Okay. Susana's family is very big, right? Her family is big. They, she told me that there are one, two, four, six, seven persons in that family. That's interesting. In my case, Douglas family is very small. It's just three persons. Okay. And my son, you can tell, oh, Douglas' son is old. He's 18. My son is 18 years old. Okay. Hey, look. Look at Edwin's daughter. Edwin's daughter is awake. Come on, man, it's late. She's waiting for the for her father. Edwin's daughter is awake. You see? So it's very simple. We can apply it in different ways. And it's the same as, oh, imagine that I'm talking about just about Edwin. Cuando ya estoy hablando solo de Edwin, imagine that. Con Karen nos pusimos ayer chismosear, ¿verdad? De Edwin. Oh, yes. As we are already talking about him, como ya estamos hablando de él, I don't say Edwin's. I say his daughter is away. En este caso, en vez de usar el possessive noun, I use the possessive adjective. His daughter is away. Right? Su hija. Are there any questions about this? Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, just a second, guys. Solo un segundo, because I need you to do something. I know that some of you are looking at me like, oh, just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, guys. This, I need you to please bring this exercise solved on your own. Write the name of somebody here, like, your teacher's name, write my name, write the name of one of your classmates. Uh, you have been working with your classmates. Han estado hablando con sus compañeros. So you know about some of them occupations. Ya saben a qué se dedica uno de ellos. Write a classmate's occupation, his or her. Escríbame la ocupación de uno de sus compañeros. Hombre o mujer, doesn't matter. And a classmate's last name, okay? You need to bring that information for tomorrow. Me traen esa información para mañana because we are going to do an exercise, a group, a group exercise. I'm going to divide you in groups and you are going to share that information. Okay? Y vamos a compartir esa información. Something else. Another part of the homework. Otra parte de la tarea. Okay? You will have to fill in the blanks with a classmate's information, okay? First name, middle name, last name, occupation, boss's name, and workplace of one of your classmates. If you cannot do it with one of your classmates, if you don't remember, si usted no recuerda la información de uno de los compañeros, you can do it about one of your co-workers. Puede hacerlo con uno de sus compañeros de trabajo. And you are going to share the information with the rest of the class. Tomorrow's class, it's going to be a little bit different. Mañana va a ser un poquito diferente. We are going to do a lot of exercise. And tomorrow, you guys are going to be speaking more. Mañana ustedes me van a hablar. During this week, during these four days, we have been gathering information. En estos cuatro días hemos estado obteniendo información de los compañeros and we have been getting the tools. Y hemos obtenido las herramientas. So, I mean, it's not the same as on Monday. And that's a fact. No es tan igual que el lunes. 
small expressions, but we can communicate already. Con pequeñas frases, pero ya podemos darnos a entender en inglés. And I need to push you from the beginning. Lo siento, pero les dije el otro día, los voy a presionar desde el inicio. Okay? That's the only way that you are going to be able to speak. Now, let me get the attendance, please. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Amparo Yajaira Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Antonia Elizabeth Méndez de Altamirano. No. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Present. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present. Indiana de Jesús Sobando Lozano. Indiana María Doña Estrada. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Present. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present, teacher. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Present, teacher. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present, teacher. Oh, thank you, thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez. Present. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present. Walter Josué Ruiz Ayala. Present. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. No here. Okay. Now. Hey guys, eh, before we leave, antes de irnos, solo un segundito. El día de mañana también les voy a pedir algo. This is personal. Esto es personal. Think about, evaluate the class. And if you have any suggestion, y si me tienen alguna sugerencia from these four days, you can send it to me in private. Me lo envían en privado, okay? And no problem. That's for me. I ask you for this because I need to prepare next classes better for you. Quiero preparar las siguientes clases aún mejores para ustedes. I mean, the idea is that you feel that you really are getting something. So if you have any doubt, if something is not quite clear, if you think that something is not working for you, let me know. Sienten que algo no les está funcionando, háganmelo saber. I'm here to help you. And I am so sorry for today's problem. De veras, discúlpenme por los problemas de ahora. Connection is out of my hands. But perhaps tomorrow we don't have this problem. I know that some of you are already asleep. Pero que algunos ya paro ya casi se me desmayó. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Uh, take care. Good night, tomorrow. teacher. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Okay, and this was today's class. Thank everybody for attending to the class and I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to be working guys with something a little bit different. Tomorrow we are going to be covering many exercises about occupations, about introducing yourself, about the verb be singular and plural, we are going to talk about yes no questions. We are going to talk about the possessive. We are going to describe Joe's positions. Well, tomorrow is going to be very, very busy and we are going to be doing a lot. And I mean a lot of activities. So thanks for everybody for being in my class and 
I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.